Imagine a quiet evening in Montecito, California. The sun sets behind the hills, casting a golden glow over the Duke and Duchess's estate. Inside, everything seems calm and luxurious, a picture of serenity. But behind those peaceful walls, something dark is brewing. Within minutes, the tranquility shatters. Sirens blare through the neighborhood, flashing lights bouncing off the gates. Police officers rush into the estate with swift precision. What could have gone so wrong for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, one of the world's most talked-about couples, to end up handcuffed and severely injured in an explosive fight? Now, before you let your imagination run wild, let's take a step back. Picture being in their shoes, global icons, constantly under public scrutiny. Every word, every glance, every move analyzed by millions of strangers. It's exhausting, isn't it? The pressure, the isolation, the weight of expectations. Even royals, with their palatial homes and multi-million dollar deals, aren't immune to the strains of daily life. And then, on this fateful night, something snaps. A miscommunication, perhaps, or maybe a bubbling frustration that's been brewing for days. We all know how small arguments can escalate when emotions are running high. Who hasn't found themselves in a heated spat over something seemingly trivial? Now imagine those spats happening in front of the world. But back to Harry and Meghan. Sources say it started like any other disagreement, tense words exchanged, voices rising. But soon, things took a dangerous turn. We've all been there, right? One minute, you're calmly discussing who left the toothpaste cap off, and the next thing you know, you're in a full-blown argument about everything. For Harry and Meghan, the stakes are higher, old wounds, media scrutiny, family pressures. According to insider reports, the argument escalated so quickly that the couple found themselves in a physical altercation. Shocking, right? No one saw it coming. Neighbors, who had previously praised the couple for their quiet and reserved demeanor, were the ones who first called the cops after hearing the disturbing sounds coming from inside the home. Before long, emergency services arrived, and that's when things took an even darker turn. Officers entered to find the couple injured, severely. But how did it get this far? What could have sparked such a violent confrontation? Here's the thing, despite the fame, fortune, and endless resources, Harry and Meghan have faced relentless scrutiny since their royal exit. The pressures on their relationship are unimaginable. And while we might think their world is all glamour, it's easy to forget how isolating that bubble can become. Remember when Meghan bravely opened up about her struggles with mental health during their interview with Oprah? It painted a picture of a woman under immense pressure, not just from the media but from within her new royal family. Harry, too, spoke candidly about the weight of living in the royal spotlight and the mental toll it took on him from a young age. So, it's no stretch of the imagination to believe that these intense pressures could boil over into their personal lives. And tonight, those pressures seemingly reached a breaking point. But what pushed them over the edge? Was it stress from their public life? Maybe it was their high-stakes financial deals, or the tension of raising two children under the watchful eye of the media. Or perhaps it was unresolved family issues that suddenly came to the surface. Whatever the cause, it's clear that something went catastrophically wrong that night. Let's be honest, we've all had moments where we lost our cool. Relationships, no matter how perfect they may appear, aren't without their struggles. But does that mean they are doomed? There's a very real human element to their story. And here's where it gets interesting. Despite all the pressures, Harry and Meghan have always presented a united front. Could this be the breaking point, or will they find a way to come back stronger? What happens next? Everyone wants to know what's next for Harry and Meghan. After being arrested and detained, their future is uncertain. Will they stay together? Or will this incident lead to a bigger problem? The media is already buzzing with speculation. But what about the couple themselves? How will they recover from such a public and traumatic event? One thing is clear. Their strength will be tested like never before. Given their past, it's likely they'll come out stronger and more determined to face challenges. Fame, wealth, and royal titles don't shield anyone from life's struggles. We've all faced moments of weakness and regret. We've all dealt with the aftermath of explosive situations. Harry and Meghan's situation isn't that different from what many couples face. Their story shows that even in glamorous lives, love, relationships, and personal struggles are real. So, what can we learn from this? Relationships are tough, no matter who you are. Here are some tips to handle pressure. Communication is key. Even in heated moments, try to communicate openly. Holding back feelings can lead to big fights. Seek help. Don't hesitate to get professional help. Counseling or therapy can help navigate tough times. Take a break. 
when emotions are high, it's okay to step back, cool down, think, and then talk again. Reflect, don't react. In arguments, it's easy to react impulsively. Take a moment to reflect and see the bigger picture. Understand your triggers. We all have things that upset us in arguments. Knowing these can help manage them better. Where do Harry and Meghan go from here? Only time will tell. But they've faced many challenges before. This fight will leave scars, but they might overcome it as they have before. Their story is still unfolding. And who knows what's next? But one thing is clear, they are not afraid of challenges. What do you think? What do you think of this royal drama? Could this be a turning point for Harry and Meghan, or just another hurdle? Share your thoughts below. How would you handle the pressure if you were in their shoes? When we think of public figures like Harry and Meghan, we often forget their human struggles. They face the same emotions as us, love, frustration, disappointment, and hope. It's how they handle these emotions that tells the real story. The lesson for all of us is that relationships need work. They require patience, understanding, and forgiveness. This fight has made headlines, but it also shows their resilience, something we've seen before. When times are tough, couples who stick together often grow stronger. But how do they do it? What can we do in our own relationships to overcome challenges? Let's explore some strategies that can help anyone, whether you're royalty or not. How to survive and thrive after a major fight. After a big argument, it can feel like the relationship is on the brink. The tension lingers, and both sides may feel hurt or misunderstood. So, how do you repair the damage and come out stronger? Here are some steps that can help, no matter the size of the fight. Apologize when necessary. It sounds simple, but it's often the hardest step. A genuine apology can go a long way in healing wounds. It's not about who was right or wrong, but about recognizing the hurt caused during the argument. Give each other space. Sometimes, after a big blowout, emotions need time to settle. Giving each other space to cool down and reflect can prevent further escalation. Have a follow-up conversation. After emotions have cooled, a follow-up conversation can help clarify misunderstandings. This is a chance to calmly discuss what happened and how to avoid similar issues in the future. Focus on the future. Once the issue is resolved, focus on moving forward rather than dwelling on the fight. Holding on to grudges will only lead to future problems. Strengthen your bond. Use the fight as a learning experience. Every couple has disagreements, but the ones who last are those who use conflict as an opportunity to grow and better understand one another. Harry and Meghan's experience, as shocking as it may sound, isn't unique in its essence. Everyone, no matter their status, goes through periods of intense struggle. And while it may seem like they have it all, wealth, fame, a beautiful family, those things don't shield anyone from emotional challenges. So, why are we so captivated by their story? It's because it reminds us that even those who seem to live perfect lives aren't immune to the struggles we face. And in seeing them overcome these challenges, we find hope for ourselves. It's not about whether Harry and Meghan come out of this unscathed, but about how they navigate the storm. And that's something we can all relate to, whether we're in a royal palace or a small apartment. What's next for the Duke and Duchess? As the dust settles and the tabloids move on to the next big story, Harry and Meghan will undoubtedly face more challenges. But if their past is any indication, they will continue to push forward. The real story here isn't the fight itself, but what happens after. Will they work through their differences and come back stronger? Will this event lead to more revelations about the pressures they face behind closed doors? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the world will be watching. And perhaps, in their journey, we'll all learn something about resilience, relationships, and the reality behind fame. So, what can we take away from this? Whether you're a royal or not, relationships are hard work. They require patience, understanding, and a lot of communication. Harry and Meghan's story reminds us that no one is immune to the ups and downs of life. And in seeing them face these challenges, we're reminded that it's okay to struggle, as long as we keep pushing forward. Here are a few final thoughts. Don't believe the fairy tale. Even the most glamorous relationships have their struggles. What matters is how you handle them. Pressure can build up. It's important to find ways to relieve the pressure, whether that's through open communication, seeking help, or simply taking a break. You're not alone. If you've faced relationship struggles, know that you're in good company. Even royals have their tough days. Now that you've heard the story, what do you think? How would you handle the pressure if you were in Harry and Meghan's shoes? Have you ever had a moment in your own relationship that seemed insurmountable, only to come out stronger on the other side? We'd love to hear your stories. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 
your insights might just help someone else who's going through a tough time. And remember, no matter what happens, there's always a way to move forward. Sometimes, it's the hardest moments that teach us the most about love and resilience. One of the most challenging aspects of Harry and Meghan's life is something many of us can't even imagine, living under a microscope. Every fight, every private moment, every look exchanged can be transformed into a headline. It's like living in a fishbowl where everyone feels entitled to their opinion on your life. We might think our own lives are complicated, balancing work, relationships, and personal well-being. But imagine adding the global press, paparazzi, and constant public scrutiny into the mix. It's no wonder that tensions in such relationships can boil over. Meghan stepped into the royal spotlight with huge expectations. Harry, born into royalty, has always had a complicated media relationship. This is after the tragic loss of his mother, Princess Diana. For both, every personal moment is a public spectacle. This is a burden most of us can barely imagine. We can't walk in their shoes, but we can understand their struggles. Their story reminds us that real emotions exist, even in high-profile lives. Harry and Meghan's issues are like ours, but bigger. Why do the Duke and Duchess's actions make headlines? Is it just fame, or something deeper? The media's interest in Harry and Meghan has been intense. Their relationship announcement grabbed the world's attention. Their decision to step back from royal duties, known as Megxit, was partly due to media pressure. Even moving to California didn't escape the media's gaze. Now, their latest fight is making headlines again. How much privacy should public figures have? When does the public's right to know clash with personal space? This dilemma faces many celebrities, but Harry and Meghan's stakes are higher. The media has shaped their story, from their love to their struggles. Yet, they've tried to control their narrative, sharing their truth. Fights are common in any relationship, but when it's global news, moving forward is tough. For Harry and Meghan, this could be a turning point or just another chapter. How they handle this moment will shape their future. They've faced big challenges, from leaving the royal family to parenting in the public eye. This fight is a significant hurdle. What's next for them? Could this be a wake-up call, prompting them to reassess their relationship and public life? Or will it strengthen their bond, showing they can withstand harsh scrutiny? Whatever happens, the world will watch. But maybe, Harry and Meghan will take control of their story again. They might show us that even with adversity, they can overcome. How to keep your relationships strong under pressure. We all face pressure in our relationships, not just the famous. Work stress, financial issues, and daily demands test our bonds. So, how can we stay strong? Here are some tips to keep your relationship strong, even when life is tough. Make time for each other, life gets busy, but prioritize your partner. Small gestures, like cooking dinner or having coffee, keep the connection alive. Be each other's support system. When pressures rise, don't take it out on your partner. Be their biggest ally instead. Keep communication open. Communication is key. Regularly check in and discuss your feelings.